Hey everybody, how's it going? So, we'll go over a quick video. Uh, I know several people's had problems with this. I've had problems with it in the past, and it took me a while to figure out how to get around it. I'm not a big electronics type guy. Um, but basically what we're going after is, ECU on the Camaro puts out a negative signal uh, to trigger anything. So say your fans, for instance, when it goes to turn them on, it throws out a negative trigger through through a wire about this size. Okay, that's some danky, danky ass crap that I can't even read. Um, gauge wise. This here is that's 12 gauge camera. Okay. There is that. So see it really, really small. It doesn't take much. All this is doing is triggering a relay. And so your computer sends a small ground signal. It triggers the relay. And then the relay will uh, kick on whatever you need. So, uh, say like air conditioning. I have air conditioning on this. I had my fans where they were just always on. I changed that. Um, I went ahead and wired it into the ECU and set a temperature. Unfortunately, the ECU I'm using on this one is the what is that thing like a 67 or 39 or something it's the smaller version one this is my backup start ready to program okay. this one right here so on this one here uh, and this is the GM LS uh, LS 376 DCU. Uh, I think it's the Cadillac used this and stuff like that. It will only let you control one fan. It can trigger two fans. You have two output for fans, but it will only allow you to control one. When it controls one, it's controlling both. Um, so I can have one come on at 185 and another one come on at 210. Uh, they're both going to come on at the same time. So, and unlike the other ECUs, that's the, the better ones to use, the more common ones, the ones that come in every truck and car out there, you can separate when they come on and you can set the temperature at pretty much whatever you want. This, the lowest temperature you can set it at is 195. So, but uh i don't have a trigger wire on here for my air conditioner to trigger on the fans uh, just i just haven't wired it in and i'm not necessarily going to um so what i've got it ran through is the uh pressure switch but the switch i'm running is uh, this is the one I'm running. It's off Amazon. It's an SW4082C pressure switch. There's actually a fancier name for it. I can't remember what it is. Uh, it has four wires coming out of it. Two to trigger the uh, AC clutch. So it will automatically kick on the air conditioning clutch when it hits, as long as it's got the pressure. It's the safety switch. The other two, once it gets to, I think it's 256 PSI, uh, once your compressor starts building pressure, it will connect on both sides on it, connecting the ground, which then gives you a ground to feed your fans. Okay, perfect. That ground, if you wire that to your relay, will back feed to your ECU, 
and it will shoot you a trouble call because it's going to say, wait a minute, that's turned on and it's not supposed to be. So, the way around it, I found, is the semiconductors. Now, the part number I'm, I'm running is an R-400 PRV 3 amps, 3A. It's a part number, I think, is actually a 1N5404. Um, there it is on the back side. And I bought it from Amazon. It looks like they only come with one. I needed two, so I ordered two. No, they come in packs. So I got two packs. Uh, and there's quite a few in a pack. But which is a good thing. Uh, I really like it. So I'm going to demonstrate. I went ahead and soldered mine onto a wire. And I'm going to put this under the dash close to the ECU. Now I'm going to demonstrate how it how it functions for you. Okay. Clips it. It's here. Go ahead and hook this up. It's a little bit 12 volt light. Hook our positive up to it. I'm going to kick on. We've got to set it at 10 volts. A little over. positive is hooked up, the ground's hooked up, and we have light. No light, light. Okay. Now, take one of these, and you can test it to see which way it flows. Uh, this one's got a gray line on it right there. That is the end for the ground. So, There's the light, there's the ground, bam, we got light. Okay, we're gonna take this ground off. I'm gonna put the brown wire down. So all I did was switch this around where it's reverse flowing and the gray's right there. Going up towards the green, get our light up here and nothing absolutely no juice going through here whatsoever I'll touch it on this end no worries for touching touch it on this end we got light touch it on this side no light light no light so By adding this in, you eliminate all back pain. So you'll never get a, what the hell's going on by your ECU. If your ECU kicks on while, while this is on, it's not gonna affect it. It's gonna flow another ground in there. And if the pressure switch you shut off your air conditioning, the pressure switch is gonna shut off. It's still gonna be getting this ground. So your fans will stay on. Uh, and that goes for anything. Anything that you don't want to back feed on. Uh, as long as it's not above 3 amps. Um, but say you had two positives going to something. As long as it's not more than 3 amps, you could have this doing it and not back feed on that positive. Uh, so you got two positives going to a relay. And you're kicking on that relay. This will prevent it from back feeding and feeding stuff on the other side of your fuse box that isn't you're not wanting to be on so if you had your wire your stereo wired in along with a bunch of your dash lights and you had your stereo where you turn your ignition on the opposite way or something and you powered up your stereo it went back feed and turn on your ignition lights it stops the back feed. so hopefully that will help somebody else out uh, especially if you're dealing with an ECU and you're getting uh, trouble light for the negative ground. If you put one of these in line, it will stop it from happening. So, you know, comment, share, like, tell me what you think. Tell me if you know a better way. Have a great day.